It is time for Inside the Ring. Joshua Frankel left San Antonio with two title belts, and last weekend he returned with the hardware. Now he battled Oscar Negrete for a third straight time, and the bout was just like the previous two. They battled back and forth every single round. It was another fight that was hard to score. Frankel was defending his belts that he won when they met for the second time back in late April. Negrete was thinking of retiring after that, but he came back and he put on a show. That got the attention of Frankel and his team real quick. I mean, after the second round, my coach, he knew, you know, that wasn't going to be the fight we were going to be fighting. So he he got on me and said, you look, this isn't the fight we've been training for. You know, go go do what you were doing in training and box this guy. You know, use your skills, use your footwork and, you know, do what you've been training to do. And after the second round, that's when I started picking it up and started, you know, landing my shots, started doing uh, everything comfortable. My corner told me that I needed the, the, the 10th round to clear 10th round, you know, to pull the, the fight off clearly. So that's what I went to do. You know, my coach told me, look, this is the last round, you know. If you want to fight for the title, your next fight, you know, this is what you need to do. You need to go out there. You need to dominate, and that, that's what I did. Were you surprised that was a draw again? Uh, I wasn't surprised because the fight was so close. I thought I put it off, you know, the last two rounds. I mean, the, the first two rounds I gave away, you know, I mean, that was obvious. But after that, I picked it up, and I feel like I won every round pretty clear. Uh, the judges didn't see it that way necessarily, scoring a split decision draw the second time that's happened in this trilogy. During the in-ring interview, Negrete said he didn't think he got a fair shake from the judges this time because they were fighting in Texas. But regardless of the outcome, both fighters shared their respects with one another. Yes, I mean, you know, we just told each other we respected each other, you know, um, all the all the talk that we did, you know, just for, you know, to build the fight up, you know, it's just a sport that, uh, that you know, at the end of the day, we just better respect each other because we fought each other so many times and we know that we were both tough warriors and uh, every time we fight, you know, it's going to be just an even matchup because our styles are made for each other. Franco is excited about moving on, has not ruled out fighting Negrete for a fourth time, a feat that has not been done since Manny Pacquiao faced Juan Miguel Marquez for the fourth time in 2012. The trilogy is in the books now for the two fighters who threw the second most punches in Bantamweight history the first time they met. So here is how it looks in the end. Now these are the stats for all three fights total thrown. Franco, 2,765. Negrete, almost 3,000. Total landed, look at that, just about even. 790 to 791 in percentage. Franco landed almost 29% of his shots, while Negrete got 26.8.